Welcome I'm your host, Brian Motherfucking Moses. This is the Rose Battle League, where we take all the Rose Battle All-Stars from all over the world. We bring them right here at Jam in the Van. We put them right in front of you, and you fall in love. Are we ready? <laughs> this lady coming to the stage from Los Angeles, please meet Elise Golgowski. I'm Elise Golgowski. I'm from Orlando, Florida. My opponent, and he's Italian. He actually kind of looks like Mario after he gets hit with a turtle shell. So really excited to send him back down that pipe. You are battling Chris Greco from Chicago. Yeah. What do you know about him? He brought his girlfriend here. It's great. Yeah, she crawled out of a TV to be here. So, so magical. From Chicago. He runs the Chicago Rose Battle scene. Make a laugh for Mr. Chris Greco. I'm Chris Greco. I run Rose Battle Chicago in Chicago. That's where I'm from. I know that Elise Golgowski, which I think is the way you, I don't, I've never learned how to pronounce it. I don't have enough time. I know she's a creepy Polak that likes Cole's cash. And that's the only defining personality trait that I could find about Elise. My girlfriend's creepy. That was the joke that didn't work earlier. But <laughs> yeah, is your girlfriend creepy? Yeah, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> You're battling Elise here. What do you know about her? What do you hate about her? She just looks like every single mother that yells at like Cole's employees or whatever. Like I, I couldn't find any discernible personality, so I had to go with what I could see. One round, five jokes. Who's going first? I am. You got this? I got this. You're a gentleman. Are we ready? <laughs> LA, Chicago, let's roast! Chris looks like he needs help opening pickle jars. <laughs> I do, that's why my girlfriend's a monster. Um, <laughs> I was worried like, Elise is gonna come up here, you know, and just fucking unleash her full on fury on me. And then I realized I'm not like a black man walking my dog in the park, so I'm all good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all good. Good one, Twink 182. <laughs> Chris is Italian. Wop, wop. <laughs> He's a wop that's never seen a wet ass pussy. Yeah, uh, Lise uh, streams video games to her online fan base of exclusively teenage boys. They're the only men that stick around, at least, because they haven't lived long enough to know what red flags are yet. <laughs> wow, good one, Andrew Taint. Damn. I've actually never met Chris until tonight, but I have hit him with my car in Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Put it in reverse, too. <laughs> what a nerd. Um, <laughs> I like at least she's coming up here looking like a fucking substitute English teacher. Fuck it. <laughs> at least looks like uh, an English teacher and her student that won't stop writing papers about horses. <laughs> How are you doing? Sorry. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's true. I do look like a horse, and you look like Christopher Reeve after he fell off me. <laughs> uh... Chris's dad is Italian and his mom is black, but just around her eyes. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Pops always taught me how to throw a right hook. I'm proud of that, man. Now, let's get serious, everybody. Elise, handsome woman. You know? A jawline any man would be jealous of, myself included. <laughs> Elise's chin is so big, it would crack the rock of the Easter Island had her face is shaped like. <laughs> Yeah, it's true, I do look like a man. At least one of us does. <laughs> I can help you with that pickle jar after the show if you need it. <laughs> you look like if your girlfriend sneezed during sex, you'd say bless you from the closet you're jerking off in. Oh my God. I've watched a lot of Elise's clips. There's about six of them. And everyone calls her a bird. Everyone says that she has the body of a bird. I say she has the voice of an autistic man running a tech startup. Damn it. <laughs> but like most birds, she's imitating the mate she's trying to attract. Holy shit, huh? <laughs> my God, we should have stood That bombed worse than my opening joke about your girlfriend. <laughs> Guys, keep it going for these two. Elise Golgowski. Chris Rico! Guys, what do we like in this one? I, I respected that at least at the end was like, remember, I started off by bombing also. 
<laughs> no, this was this was fucking awesome. Pretty clear who won by the end of it. Thanks for giving up, Chris. Uh, <laughs> anything for you, buddy. Yeah, at least you beat the tar out of him, and not just because you look like if a drag queen was Kate Blanchett. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, the jokes were really fucking, uh, really funny and well written. It was so fucking well delivered. And then Chris, you know, we saw the guy before forget his last joke. Sometimes it's worse to remember all your jokes. <laughs> No, but this was this was fun. I mean, uh, now that Brian's there, I'm just waiting for the casting couch to come out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but I, I think that Elise had this. But you guys both did a good job. I feel like this is what it was like to be at BuzzFeed today when it shut down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just a lot of y two nerds yelling at each other, right? Here's 17 reasons why Chris's set didn't work out. <laughs> This is like verbal cucking going on right now. Uh, you guys both did great. I mean, sh you did wonderful. I I've seen your social media. Anyone who can make fun of themselves looking like Trevor Lawrence is fucking, uh, is good with me. So I thought you both were super funny, but your comebacks were a little better. So uh, I'm going to give it to Elise, everybody. Right. Pat, did you like the, uh, there was a big Christopher Reeves pop in here. Of all the fucking references, I did not expect to blow up this room. Christopher Reeves was the one. This was a great battle. You guys look like the worst team you can play as in WNBA Jam. WNBA <laughs> Jam. I want to thank you guys for giving me the one battle tonight that wasn't difficult to judge. Oh. Uh, I appreciate that. Because three jokes in, it was kind of like Elise had the lead, but uh, Chris had that great joke about like the uh, they don't know how to recognize red flags, and you open with a black guy walking his dog in the park, and I was like, damn, they're fucking slugging it out. And then Elise just got stronger and stronger as it went, and Chris kind of fell off at the end there. But everything from the, the Christopher Reeve rebuttal on, the Italian and black around the eyes was just, like, outstanding. If you watch Chris, she goes, his dad is Italian and his mom is black. And Chris goes, my mom isn't black. And as I didn't have to think about it. I'm like, is she black? processing that, I didn't she just gave him the bump. uppercut through yeah. the ceiling like fucking Mortal Kombat. It was so well done. Gotta be honest, backstage, we all thought the same thing. I almost, like, respected him more. <laughs> <laughs> his mom's black. Oh, you got me, Elise. Yeah. You got me. Hey, I also right. just love the simplicity of Wop Wop. <laughs> Oh, that was great. So good. That was great. Uh, great battle for the first three. We have a great editing team that's going to cut out those last two. You're going to look like a king. Oh, yeah. But for everybody in guys. here, everybody Rod in here, we knew what happened. <laughs> we this will never forget it. This looks like a gay conversion couple right here. Like, you guys. And I'm here to wreck shop. Anyway, yeah. uh, <laughs> guys, make up your winner. Miss Elise Golgowski! Hug each other! Hug each other! Yes!